Back now, the most wanted man in Rwanda and suspected genocide mastermind Felicien Kabuga has been arrested. Kabuga was apprehended by French police in a suburb outside of Paris and is expected to be handed over to the United Nations prosecutors. Officials in Rwanda hailed the arrest and said the East African nation will continue to collaborate with the UN mechanism to ensure that justice is served. Ashamilu reports on the decade-long international hunt for one of the most elusive men in Africa. The 80-year-old multi-millionaire Felician Kabuga has been on the run for 26 years. In this statement, tribunal officials at the International Residual Mechanism for Criminal Tribunals confirmed that the most wanted man in Rwanda has now been captured. Kabuga, who is highly implicated in the Rwandan genocide of 1994, was arrested by French police in what the tribunal described as a coordinated operation with simultaneous searches across a number of locations. Kabuga was arrested on Saturday morning at a flat in Paris, living under a false identity. The tribunal's chief prosecutor celebrated Kabuga's arrest, terming it a reminder that those responsible for the genocide can be brought to account even 26 years later. Felician Kabuga was little known in Kenya until September 2006 when the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda and the United States accused senior government officials in Kenya of hiding the international fugitive. He is our top fugitive, as I said. We are looking for him. All our information leads us to, to points to him having connections with this country. Um, residence, visits, business, etc. The accusations became a thorny issue for Kenya, forcing top government officials to address the suspicions around Kabuga. The Kenya government cannot release a person it doesn't have. We don't know where his money is. We understand he's in Kenya. He is a fugitive, which means he's on the run. Kabuga's known family members live in a European country. The remainders of Kabuga's bank accounts in Kenya were transferred to that country and credit to his wife's account. Even with the strong denials, whispers of Kabuga's sightings continued in Kenya. The crescendo was in July 2012 when a Kenyan businessman claimed to have been mistakenly photographed as Kabuga in an expose ran by a local TV station. I've never been to Rwanda, nor do I in a, a Rwanda language. The farthest I've gone is Kisumu. In 1997, the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda inducted Kabuga on seven counts of genocide, complicity in genocide, direct and public incitement to commit genocide, attempt to commit genocide, conspiracy to commit genocide, and persecution and extermination. He is accused of funding the militias that massacred some 800,000 Tutsis in 1994. Financial documents found in the capital, Kigali, after the genocide indicated that Kabuga used his companies to import vast quantities of machetes that were used to slaughter people. As I said, this is Kabuga, Felicia, the one you were asking. And this is Potem Piranya. Other top fugitives still at large include Potem Piranya, the former commandant of the presidential guards and former defense minister, Augustin Bizimana. Once French officials complete appropriate procedures, Kabuga will be handed over to the tribunal where he will stand trial. Ashramwilu, Citizen TV, Nairobi.